I'm Justin Mott and welcome to this episode of In The Field where I take you guys with me on an assignment, on a story, you get to see my process and more importantly, you get to learn about the story that I'm documenting. Today I'm here at Old Pajeta Conservancy in central Kenya and I'll be focusing on documenting the anti-poaching unit, specifically the canine unit. So I'll be documenting them with video and stills, so I'm doubling up today, it's going to be a lot of work. The light is perfect. I can hear the dogs barking in the background. I'm excited to go meet them. So come with me, let's go meet the dogs. Let's learn about how they're saving our wildlife. So today I'm trying to capture these little moments, these bonds that these guys have. These, these guys are protecting wildlife, they're dealing with deadly poachers, and they're like, they're a team, not just the guys, but they're also a team with the animals as well. I mean, it's all one team. So I wanna capture their bond, I wanna see how these bloodhounds work, how they track, uh, you know, get into the process a bit, and then even with a Cocker Spaniel drum, how he sniffs out amu ammunition. I think that's quite fascinating because poachers store ammunition in different places. So I'm excited to see the training, excited to see like how they actually can do these amazing things, like track people for, you know, miles away and, and find ammunition from long distances just by smelling it out. So I'm excited to capture that. I'm, I'm even just excited to witness it. So we arrived here very early in the morning, about 6 a.m. They let the dogs out. They cleaned the kennels a bit. Uh, and they had a lot of little moments with the dogs. You can tell they, these guys here have a close bond with these dogs. And the dogs have a close bond with them as well. And now they're taking them out for a walk before they actually do specific training. So they're just kind of going out in the field. It's a really beautiful setting here with Mount Kenya in the background. They're taking them out for a little walk, get them excited, get their day started, and then they're going to get into training. <laughs> So it was a very interesting morning actually watching them work, seeing their training and seeing how the whole operation works. Uh, so what they'll do is they have eight bloodhounds here and one Cocker Spaniel. And the bloodhounds are used to actually track. So they'll introduce a scent to them. So they'll have one of the rangers be a, like a mock poacher. And they'll get their footprints, they'll dig it into the ground. And then after that, they'll bring over the bloodhound and they'll collect a sample from that to get the scent. And they'll introduce it to the bloodhound. He'll get the sample. He has to sort of get right in there. And then the guys will go off and hide, like, you know, go for like a 10 minute hike and hide. And then they have the bloodhounds with the leashes and they go and they find them at an impeccable success rate, it was amazing. And then they have the Cocker Spaniel who's specifically used to sniff out ammunition. So they'll have the Cocker Spaniel smell a magazine clip, smell bullets, and then they go out, they'll hide the bullets somewhere in the bushes somewhere. Because sometimes poachers will stash bullets and they just typically have guns with them. So they'll, they'll hide them out in the bushes and the Cocker Spaniel just finds them immediately. It was so amazing, the Cocker Spaniel's name was Drum, a lot of energy fantastic at his job. It was fun to watch, fun to watch their bond, fun to watch how successful they are doing this, how good they are doing this, how well trained they are. And that, that was just a great morning. It was a lot of fun to a lot of fun to be out there with those guys. And as far as shooting, it was great. I got a great shot of one of the guys with Mount Kenya in the background with drum, uh, with the sun rising. That was really nice. Nice clips coming all together. Now I'm about to head out for an evening ride with them where they're gonna go out and patrol with the dogs. So I'm excited to do that. The sun's gonna set in a little bit. They're all gathered right now, sort of going over the brief going over the plan. I'm going to join them now, hop in the truck with them and go out with them while they patrol the whole conservation. So that's it for today guys. What an incredibly inspiring day. You can see I'm a little bit tired. I'm back in my room right now but I'm just inspired and touched by the work that these guys do and that the dogs do themselves. I spent the morning with the canine unit watching their training, you know, seeing how playful the dogs are, petting the dogs. It's easy to forget that they're actually risking their lives, that they're actually protecting other wildlife from deadly poachers. And then in the afternoon going out with the rangers, going out with the armed rangers on, on patrol, being surrounded by animals that can actually harm them, being out in a situation where they could be harmed by deadly poachers who are armed, who are willing to kill and who have killed in the past. Uh, it just, 
it's so inspiring just to see the work that they do, to document the work that they do. I'm, I'm honored to have that opportunity. Hope you guys learned something today. If you want to learn more about the anti-poaching unit, if you want to learn more about the canine unit, if you want to actually adopt a dog or donate to the rangers, you can do so in the description box below. I'll put a link to the old Pajetta Conservancy website right there. Uh, that was a lot of fun for me to shoot stills and video at the same time. Hopefully you get a little bit of insight into my process there. I like a very minimalistic system here. I had the Leica 35 millimeter, one camera, one lens, and my zoom lens here on my Sony FX3. It's a good combination when I want to be lightweight and go back and forth. I don't always encourage you to do both at the same time, but sometimes you just have to. Thank you guys for watching today. Again, any question you have about the gear, about Old Pajetta, about the Rangers, about the dogs, you can ask me in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to have a wonderful day. Thank you.